Good evening. With elections on the horizon, the timing is spot on and unmistakable. Tamil Nadu just locked in its economic manifesto and it's worth 2.07 lakh crore rupees. While the political machinery gears up, the state's industrial engine just posted its biggest numbers of the year. Minister TRB Raja confirmed the data. 270 MOUs, 4 lakh new jobs, 2.07 lakh crore rupees in commitments. These are signed contracts and they are coming just as the campaign season begins. The old model of Chennai-centric growth is now defunct. The state has altered the dynamic to distributed development. They are actually taking the infrastructure to the talent. First ever Sipcot parks in Tenkasi, Madurai, Thiruvarur. New tidal new parks launching in tier 2 and tier 3 cities. Signifying the inspirational change for the 20-something engineer that's probably watching right now in those very cities. Which means one does not have to migrate to a metro to build a career. The tech parks are arriving in all their glory to your hometown. A 2,000-acre Tidco global city near Chennai anchors it all. But the real story is now actually starting to read beyond Chennai. The portfolio is strictly high-tech. Aerospace, Agni Cool Cosmos, the Defence Corridor, Maritime, HD Hyundai, Mazagao Dock, building the next generation of ships, electronics, TD Connex. A clear indication highlighting electronics sovereignty. They are amplifying focus on the entire supply chain, where the thrust will be on manufacturing components and not just assembling them. In addition to that, 50 new Global Capability Centers, GCCs, established in 2025 alone, consequently absorbing 10 million square feet of office space. This is where the high-paying jobs will be thriving. And, as we know, capital follows clarity. Tamil Nadu secured these wins with specific niche policies. Here they are. Maritime policy, space industrial policy, toy manufacturing policy, and the first ever electronics component scheme. They stacked manufacturing, design, research, and data into one power block. The result? Ranked number one in ease of doing business by The Economist and the top achiever under Business Reform Action Plan, BRAP, which is, well, quite impressive. And now, of course, it is time on front page for the front page take. Here it is. Voters want stability. Investors want returns. Tamil Nadu is betting it can deliver both in a space of only a few odd months with, well, a minor point to be considered. That's if they're still in power. Because usually no ruling government puts their neck on the line with such a huge announcement so close to the elections. Although they have built an economy that blends heavy manufacturing with deep tech research and development. But with this latest move, another narrative comes to light. Generally, it is said that signing the MOU is the easy part. The challenges of converting those MOUs is where the real test lies. So, the challenge now for Tamil Nadu is speed. And the question which can be asked is, can the government ensure that the work on the ground is underway well before the polls open? That is the execution test, ladies and gentlemen. Please let us know what you think. Is this the winning formula for 2026? This is, of course, Front Page by AIM Network. Like, share, subscribe. Yes, it's with your support that we have breached 250,000. We want to go beyond and to infinity. And that can only happen with all of your love and support. And of course, always remember, think AI, think India, think AIM.